Well, hello there. I have a 100-year-old house. Actually, it's about 120 years old. And as you can see here, we've got holes in the wall. All the holes are from, you can see there, is we blew an insulation. Now, rather than going from the outside, we determined it'd be easier going from the inside rather than messing with the siding and all that. Uh, it's a little more work this way. It's, it's a lot of the pros prefer the outside, but this job we decided to do the inside. So what we did is I got the insulation in there all blown in and I packed it in there really good. So it's all nice and tight in there and it ain't coming out. You can see it's really sturdy and it's solid in there and I stuffed it down in the walls and did it all throughout the house. So we've got about 60 holes in this house all to uh, patch and fix and I just thought I'd show you what we did. So first of all, we've got the original hole saw here. This is what we're going to use to make some repairs. Um, you want to get a saw for uh, dry, this type of uh, plaster and lath. That's a heavy duty saw. They cost a lot more. They're about 50, 60 bucks or so. But it's well worth it because the cheap ones for 15, 20, 30 dollars, <laughs> they burn up really fast and they don't work. So you want to get the right tool for the job. First thing we did was I used the palm sander. I got about a 80 grit sandpaper on there. And uh, what we did, as you can see, is I sanded down the hole, uh, around the hole really nice there. Make it even. Now, some guys will actually go and recommend go all the way down to the drywall or the plaster, get a better adhesion. And I found this way works out okay. Um, well, we'll see in the long run, but I've not really had any issues or problems with doing that. Um, next you want to do is I got some drywall squares I cut out 8 by 8 inches to maximize my uh, sheet of drywall because I got all these holes and it's going to take me a little bit more than a sheet of drywall to do them all. So, Anyways, I took the hole saw. As you can see, I cut from the back side just enough here to get to the paper, but not all the way through the paper. You just want to have just the back side of it cut, just enough so you can break it off. Uh, you can probably see I used to put some score marks on there, make it easier to peel off. And then you'll end up with something like this. And that's all done. You wanna make sure you get it as pretty much as clean as possible so you don't have uh, lumps and bumps. And there's the pieces that I peeled off there. So then, after that, you want to take and you want to put your drywall compound on there. You want to get it nice and good, smear it all the way around the outside edge so it goes in the hole really good. So I just get it on there really good, cover, plug that hole in the middle there. And then after that, I'm going to try to do this one-handed here. I'm going to take it and just... Put it nicely in that hole. And then, grab my knife here. You just want to gently smooth it out. Gently smooth it out. I don't have any video equipment here. I'm just using my phone quick here to do a quick little demo video. But you just want to Gently smooth it out and then get the little excess out there. Now, right here, I got a quick little patch job. I don't know if you can see that there. I've got the mesh tape. That stuff works wonderful for cracks and stuff like this. So I'll just take the excess and use it on there real quick. There. You can see there, and then we'll come back and we'll finish it up. Now, right next to it here, I've already had a hole that I did, actually, a couple of holes. But this one, you can see in the end what it's supposed to look like. And all nice and done, and we'll give it another coat. And this wall does have a texture on it. Uh, you can buy the stuff in the can. Pretty darn expensive. It's about $15, $20 a can, depending on what you get. Or well, there's some other techniques I found doing some research that I'll probably try out. They're supposedly a whole lot cheaper. Another quick little hole I did here. I just reused the old cutout that I had. Uh, reason being is behind here is a window. 
You can see there's the window. And behind this window, since it goes up into the wall, uh, there's a wood uh, cavity there. So when I drilled into the wall, I was like, whoops, we got wood back here. So, and then we did uh, a couple more holes there, one in the corner and all that. So we're just waiting for those to dry and uh, work on it a little further. So anyways, if you like my video, just uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, any comments or ideas or tricks that you may have would be great. I learn from others just as much as I help uh, teach others. I've been doing this traveling work for a long time. Uh, people like my work because I hate sanding, so I tell them, hey, you do the sanding, I'll do the drywall for, work for you, I'll give you a good deal. All you got to do is come in and wipe it down, and then you guys can paint and do whatever you want. So, but if people just hate drywall work because it's always so difficult for whatever reason. But the key I learned is just patience, light coats, take your time, make it look good so you're not doing a lot of sanding and work afterwards. A lot of guys will go in there, quick slap it up, and go as quick as fast as you can. But I look at it, better take the time in the front end so you're not wasting it on the back end. So, like I said, if you like my video, just let me know, or if not, give me some comments, some better ideas, whatever. Um, hopefully that'll help you. Thanks. Bye.